So in this video, we are going to explore how to access Llama 3.3 models using different frameworks. So we are going to try Olama. Then we are also going to try Grow Cloud. And then we are also going to see how to access it via GitHub models. Before going to the code, let's first just understand more about Llama 3.3 model. This is coming only with 70B version. So there is no higher or lower version of this particular model. As you can see, like it is offering the similar performance compared to Llama 3.14. 405b model this is a multi-language language model and as of now it only supports text so we cannot use it for multi-modality but we can surely use it for our text only applications about the capabilities it supports the tool usage and it is having the longer context window you can pass multilingual inputs and can get output also in multilingual as far as the languages are concerned it supports like all these languages also if you want to make the comparison of the this model with other models then you can go over this link this is a artificial analysis.ai website and they do the independent comparison but i just wanted to highlight few things over here the quality and speed and price so as you can see from the quality perspective llama 3.37b is now standing over here its quality is considered higher than gpt 4o and gpt 4o mini models so that's a big plus considering it's an open source model also from the speed perspective you can see it's just standing right after o1 mini and from the pricing perspective also you can see it's standing over here it means the cost must be very low if you use this particular model so as you can see if you are using this model then you are going to get a high quality with a higher speed and low pricing so now let's go with the code first framework we are going to try is olama as we know like if we have to use olama then we need to have the olama installed on your system and then you can just go ahead and pull this particular model first we can check like what models you have i already have this llama 3.3 latest i have already pulled it out the size is 42 gb if you want to pull this model on your local system then you have this particular command run would also run this model if you just want to download this particular model on your system then you can just run this command olama pull and then llama 3.3 latest so it may take some time to download i already have it over here so i can just go ahead and try to use this particular model in my application so first thing what we have to do is install olama run this command just to make sure that olama is installed on your system before you can start writing the code you can just clear it out so what we need to do is first of all we have to import chat from olama and if you go into the chat then you can see there are multiple things that you can pass on to you can pass the model you can pass the tools format and all those things as of now we are just trying to see like how to access this particular model using different framework so we are just passing the model name which we have just pulled it on our local and after that we are just passing a simple message in under message we are not passing any system message this is just a user message we are passing and we are asking explain the importance of fast language models now if you want to print the response then we we can print the whole response or we can just go to message then dot content and i can just go ahead and try to run this code and you can see i'm not able to run this on my local because this particular model requires more system memory and i do have only 16 points so this is basically denoting the ram of your system so if you want to run this particular model directly on your local machine then you need to have at least 64 gb of ram system i do have only 16.4 gb ram so i am not able to run this model by downloading it on my system that's where i'm going to use another framework first framework which i'm going to try is grok if you want to use the grok framework then first of all you have to go to grok cloud website from here actually you have to get a key you have to just click on this create api key it will create that key for you and then actually you can take this secret key from here as far as the billing is concerned we are on the free plan so it's not going to charge you anything you can go ahead and check for the pricing over here so you just need to have a key and once you have the key then we can go to the documentation and under the documentation you can go to the models and from the model you can see for 70b version they do have this 3.370b versatile model and this is what we are going to use it so if you want to get it started with grok so first thing what we have to do is install grow so that you can do it by installing grow and once you have this install so first thing what we have to do is import grok and then actually we can use it to initialize our 
our client if you go to this group then we have to pass our api key over here my api key has been set up in environment variables it will take the value directly from the environment variable so i do have my grok api key over here it will take the value directly from there if you don't want to set it in the environment variable then you can also put it in the environment file and then load that environment file everything would be fine once you initialize the client you just have to pass all this method and it is same like what we have been using in openai so it's a client.chat.completions.create and after that we just have to pass a model name model name is something that we have to take it from the documentation and this is available over here so i'm just copy pasting from this and just directly posting it over here then the same messages role is going to be user content is going to be the same and then i'm just printing the response and as we have seen when we were using the openai native api then we have to go to the choices message and content same thing is going to work over here now i can just go ahead and try to run this code and this time i'm able to get a response and considering like we are using grok so the response is going to be very fast so we were able to get the response from this particular model on our local machine only so you can see the details what we have got and how quickly we have got a response over here now we are going to explore another option to access these models on your local machine that is going to be github models so we just have to search for github models and we have to go to this marketplace in this marketplace you can see we do have the models over here we just have to click on this and here we do have all this model that you can try on for free so we do have open ai models we do have some open source model i am just going to look for llama 3.370b instruct model i could see okay this model is over here i am just going to click on this and then if you want to evaluate it this also comes with the ui so you can just pass something and try it out like how the responses are coming using this particular model and you could see the details also over here now how to use this on your local machine so you could see like we do have the, this get api key over here you can just click on this get api key you can select your language and sdk this is using azure ai inference sdk what we have to select from here is python you could also see one option over here like if you want to run this then you can also run this under code space you can just click on it and it will create a code space for you but if you just want to run it normally then what you can do there are two options one is you know you have to get a personal access token before actually using this model one is using github and one is using azure ai so when you are going to azure ai it works on pay as you go model and we have to get a production key but if you just want to access it for free then we just have to create a github token if you don't have it then you can just click on this get developer key and you can see like i do have one created over here but if you just want to create a new one you can just click on this you can follow any one of the process over here you can create the classic one if you are creating a classic one then you have to select all the accesses what you need and this generate new token is a new one where this will give you fine grained repo scope you can provide a token name then uh, what would be the expiration period you can just select any one of it from here you can provide some description if you need and then repository access like what kind of accesses you need is it going to be public repository or repository or only select repository we can go ahead with the default one and then we can just go ahead and create a token if you want to create a classic one like i do have a classic one over here so if i just click on this you could see like how i have created it what would be the name of the token and after that i do not want to give all the accesses so i have just selected this repo access you know i just left everything opened and i just went ahead and create a token so you can either create a token using classic method or you can create create a token using fine grain tokens method but once you get a token you have, you just have to copy paste it and save it and then we can directly use it in the code here you can see we do not need to give any permission to the token and the token will be sent to microsoft service now just to set it up what exactly we need to do is first of all because we are using this azure ai inference sdk so we do have to install this azure ai inference so we can just copy paste it from here we can just go ahead and install this now actually this has been installed and after that we just had to take this code all together so they do have everything written over here so we can just copy paste this code from here we can go to this model and we can just paste it on our visual studio and i just modified the query what was there so same question what we have been asking from different frameworks same thing we are passing it over here as well and one more thing what i did is i have created the environment file and under this environment file i have just 
just passed my github token and from this environment file i'm just loading it directly and just to load this i'm using this particular package dot env if you want to install this package then you can just run pip install python dot env and once you have this particular package installed then we can go ahead and use this load dot env method which we can use it to load environment files and from here rest of the code would be same so what we can do is we can just go ahead and try to run this on our local and it took like around a minute to generate a response but we have got a response when we are using the grog framework then the response was a bit faster considering like it's a fast inference framework but here also you could see we were able to get the output from llama 3.370b instruct model on our local only if you want to try it out this model you these are the different ways how you can access it and then you can build your application accordingly this is all what we have in this video thank you for watching